can't see me. Let's go. What up, what, what, what up, y'all? You can't see me here today back again. You already know what it is. Today I'm back and we are on the Golf Club 2. I checked out the Golf Club 2. Um, I like a, a nice golf game every now and then and I saw this one had dropped and it looked pretty interesting. Um, a lot of great modes, um, a lot of multiplayer online um, connectivity. I'm about to test it out to see how it truly is and see if it's worth uh, continuing to stick with it. So I have to choose the method of control that I would like to perform the golf swing with. Let's see the mouse and keyboard. All right, so I'm gonna try the um, gamepad with the left stick. And as you can see, it's in the frame, and, Hello there, and welcome to the you can see the top. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to fix that when I get to options. We are going to show you what you need to know to get started as quickly as possible. So let's not waste any more time. But I can't, I gotta get to options. I can't get to options just yet to adjust my window screen. So we're gonna roll with it like this for a moment. To begin your swing, pull back on the swing stick. When your golfer reaches the top of their back swing, push the stick forward to swing. Mm. Okay. Hit it to the uh, right just a little bit. But got some good distance, 259. Okay, okay. Feedback on how accurate your shot was will be displayed in the bottom right corner after each shot. Leaving the edges of that colored cone means that you have swung way offline. So let's give this swing thing another go and try to stay within that cone. All right. Oh, <laughs> I was terribly outside the cone. Got to try that again. I did better the first time. Uh, didn't quite get that. Let's try that one again. Uh, that was close. So I was doing it at first just with my thumb, my left thumb on the left stick. But now I'm actually, I used to do this on golf games before. Taking my right hand and using my first finger on my thumb and pulling it back. And then going back straight. I used to be able to get better uh, consistency, but I'm not getting very good consistency on this. I feel like I'm closer than that. It's going back and forth, man. It's kind of tough to get it uh, as accurate as you think it should be. Wow. There it is. It took a few tries. So I'm gonna have to be um aware of that. Very well done. Let us move on. You will when I'm also shooting. receive feedback on your swing tempo just underneath your swing accuracy indicator. Now, if you are too swift or too sluggish on your backswing or follow through, your shot could lose power, it could get some wonky spin, or it could go further off target. Now let's try swinging with a smooth motion to achieve the perfect tempo. Wow, so you gotta swing with the perfect tempo. Ooh, now that's a nice hit though. Look at that, perfect. And the perfect tempo. Look at your boy. Ooh, ooh. Oh, <laughs> I thought I got it. Oh, you know what? I think maybe I can't see it if it's down in the bottom right due to the screen not fitting properly yet. I don't know. Oh, my downswing was very fast. My backswing was perfect. Okay. I guess your backswing is always going to be perfect due to He's just holding it back. Not quite. Let's reset and try again. Oh. So you, 
So you don't necessarily have to flick the stick as fast as you want to, as hard as you can. They actually want you to pull it back and push it forward moderately. Okay, well, I think that's the minimum uh, amount of stuff you need to get started. If you'd like more challenge or distance from your shots, try changing your clubs in the profile menu. And be sure to test out your equipment first on the driving range. And if you are looking for more advanced shot techniques, go ahead and check out the other lessons that are available in our training menu. Okay, see you next time. Thanks. <laughs> so I'm going to check out, um before I jump into competition, I'm going to check out, you know, some of these trainings. And they added the level of realism in this where they want you to go test out clubs when you get new clubs just to see how they actually hit. So you know what to expect on the course. So they really try to add a very high sense of realism in this game as a golf simulator. Okay, so this concludes the lesson. Cause my golf bag. Okay. Continue pray. Okay. As he said. Welcome to the putting lesson. Uh oh, let's see how putting feels. So you can gain strokes where it matters most. You know what they say, drive for show. Put for dough, folks. Let's go. Drive for show and put for dough. Begin your putt, pull back on the swing stick. The farther you pull back, the stronger your putt will be. When you feel you've got the power right, push the stick forward to putt. Now let's try sinking this 10 footer. Nice. Next. Now getting your putt strength just right comes down to feel at the end of the day. And each green can feel different. You can keep an eye on your putter's max distance in the top right to get an idea of what the current green speed is. This putt is just a few inches downhill, so use your aim stick to move the putting marker just in front of the hole, and then ease up on your putt and let gravity do the work for you. Okay, how do I move the stick? Okay, I hit Y. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can really look around at your shot. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so that was Y. Oh, wow. That's B. You can see it from there, too. Oh, that's nice. So you can put the flag out there, remove the flag with X, and you can hit Y. Okay. Now, it's just asking me to swing, but I don't see how to move the stick. It said you move it right in front. Oh, there it is. I should be able to rotate around. I wish you could put like this, like leaving it to the side or something. So if you use the D-pad, you can move that uh, red indicator. So let me let's put. Oh, those moving dots on the grid are telling us that your putt is going to break to the right. So you're going to have to aim to the left to compensate. Use the aim stick to make adjustments before putting so that you can drop this one in the hole. So I'm gonna move it a little bit to the left of the hole, maybe like a foot. <laughs> I'm just guessing here. Oh, I moved it too much. Uh, how about we try that again? Too much, too much. And see, even if you look at this angle, it don't leave an indicator there. So how am I supposed to know what an indicator is? I need to work on that. Ah, oh, come on. Well, that didn't work. Let's try that one again. <laughs> All right, and I think now you're ready to tear things up on the green. And by tear things up, I mean be very respectful and do not damage the property. <laughs> Seriously, though, every green can be really different to play on. Be sure you get some putting practice in on any unfamiliar courses, especially before a big event. 
and if you need a refresher on swing basics or more advanced shot techniques, check the other lessons available in the training menu. That's it for now, folks. See you next time. Thanks. Hello and welcome to this lesson where we will talk about clubs and shot types. I am going to show you how to make the most of what's in your golf bag with a few simple tricks. Let's go. So we're going to continue on through the starting tutorial. This game is pretty nice though. I'm, it's okay so far. It's okay so far. Club up, or in other words, use a longer club. So let's press the change club button until you get to the pitching wedge. Then just pop this shot onto the green. Wow, so it's 17. The wind is blowing 17 miles an hour. So a putting wedge. Let's see. 79 yards away. So that's 30 over. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> time before you find yourself in a situation where the normal shot type is just not going to do. Now to get on the green from here, you are going to need a chip shot. So let's press the change shot type button until you get to the chip shot and then chip that ball nice and close to the pin with your next stroke. Okay, chip shot. All right, 16 yards carry with 23 yards. Oh, I can't move it. Ah, that's pretty. All right, we're going for it. Oh, look at your boy. Look at your boy. Look at your boy. Nice work out there. Let's move on. Information about the current lie of your ball is available always in the top right corner of the screen. This will give you a range of how much spin and power your shot will retain, and then you can use that info to adjust your shot accordingly. Now, for this particular situation, you're going to want to club up to the sand wedge and switch your shot type to the flop shot. Then stick this one on the green. Club up to the sand wedge. And then he said the flop shot, right? We gonna go with flop. So we right there on the hole, 30 yards. We're 17 yards, they go 30. Oh, but we only getting about 50%, 44 to 64% of the shot. So. Oh. All right, all right. Now, with these few tricks under your belt, you can really take your game up a notch out there on the course. If you'd like to experiment with some different kinds of clubs, you can go over and change your equipment in the profile menu. Make sure to take the new clubs out for a rip on the driving range before you hit the course. And if you're looking for a refresher on the basics, some more advanced techniques, or info on putting, check out the other lessons in our training menu. And with that, I bid you farewell. Appreciate it. <laughs> now, I am not a, you know, golf professional or golf aficionado. I don't play golf, but I know a little bit about it. So, I would still need to kind of re revisit these tutorials or just familiarize myself more with the uh, lob and flop and i know about all of them just exactly when to use them re-familiarize myself and i do that because if i like this game you're gonna want to master if you want to compete with the pros let's begin sometimes you'll need to make a partial swing to dial in your distance just the way you need it in this case your chip shot's going to go about twice as far as the cup try cutting your power in half by adjusting your backswing height and follow through speed to land this one near the cup. Okay. So if I go all the way, that's 100%. So 
I need to go about there and then come back not too swiftly okay okay Let's, uh, just go ahead and give that another try. not quite far enough I thought it was gonna actually go up further but once again this is 100% we're gonna try to get it about here Oh, almost, almost, almost. That, uh, should probably be tried again. It's four miles per hour to the right, so I need to move it over just a hair. There it is. Stop ball. Stop ball. There we go. Done. Let's move on. Manually adjusting the loft of your shots is going to help you get that ball closer to your target. The catch here is that changing your loft also increases the difficulty of your shot. Hold the shot shape or button and press the aim stick up to increase your loft. Land this shot near the cup. Your increased loft is going to give that shot a little backspin. It's going to keep that ball from rolling off the green. Hmm. How do I see? Oh, where is my indicator? I don't know what that is. Okay, they need to do something about this angle, though. I'm not sure where it's saying my pointer or my indicator is. Okay, whatever. So. Four miles an hour blowing for 109 yards carry. Hold the shot sh ass shot shaper. Increase the loft of your shot. Okay, we want to increase it. We going all the way, baby. Get your boy getting the perfect swings. Oh, nice, nice. A fade or a draw to your shot can really open up some stroke-saving shortcuts. And you guessed it, this will also increase the difficulty of your shot. Hold down the shot shaper button and press the aim stick to the left, and then land this shot on the left side of the driving range. Hmm. Trying to make, make it hook. Make it draw. Draw phage. Perfect, perfect. You see that? Perfect, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Very well done. Let us move on. With lots of practice. These advanced techniques are going to prove to be invaluable parts of your game. Hopefully, I remember them all. <laughs> techniques to give you even more workability. Try changing your clubs in the profile menu, and then test them back out here on the driving range. And lastly, if you need a refresher on the basics or some more info on stuff like putting, check out the other lessons available in the training menu. And with that, I say goodbye. <laughs> Appreciate it. Let's see if there's another one. Oh, that's it. We made it through the tutorial. Chill. HCP. Oh, I gotta play five rounds to get a handicap. That's what's up. Um. So, do I want to look at the menus or, you know what? I think that we went through the training. We got to look at golf club. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, the golf club two. We went through training. We got a good look at the golf club two, and. I think in the next video we'll make a character and I'll look at my profile. But you know what? I do want to actually look at my profile. Get edit my golfer and equipment. I actually need to go to the display. You know what? I'll do this off camera.
so yeah i think we'll end it here and in the next one we'll look at the profile and we'll look through some of these other menus maybe we'll go ahead and start a career but this is uh from the tutorial um the some of the inconsistencies that they were having before that people were complaining about didn't seem to exist so i have to play it in career and in competition to see if um any of the complaints are warranted or if they have worked to uh make this game play very efficiently and effectively so we'll see all right you can't see me appreciate y'all stopping through and checking out the golf club too with me we're going through some some really good indie titles so thank you come back and see me make sure you leave that like and subscribe if you like the channel you know i really uh appreciate you stopping through regardless all right but come back and see some more vids you can't see me golf club too you know what you must do above all things make your next move your best move all right peace you can't see me let's go thank you for checking me out at you can't see me tv i'm you can't see me gamer Please like and subscribe to stay updated and check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All right, peace.